Dear friends, now we are in stanza number 188. Starting this stanza to until up to 192, all these stanzas are very important. And there is a relationship, connection, connecting each other, all these stanzas, almost uh, one, two, three, four, five stanzas. So, particularly 188 stanza is very important to recognize what is the teachings of the Buddha or whether the word that we use, Buddhism, is correct word for the teachings of the Buddha or not, to recognize it. Bahume saranam yanti pabbatani vananicha arama rukka chetyani manusabhaya tajjita. Brief meaning of this stanza is when threatened with danger, men go to many a refuge or to hills, woods, woods, groves, trees, and shrines. This is the brief meaning of this stanza. Bahumme saranam yanti. Bahumme saranam yanti. Pabbatani vana nicha. Arama rukka chetyani manusa bhaya tajjita. In here, there is very important message in this stanza. They go to many a refuge who, those who have been struck by fear. This is very important word, fear. They go to many a refuge. Likewise, Aram means maybe uh, shrines. Rukka means big trees. Chetyani means uh, uh, pagodas. Manusa, who? Manusa. What kind of manusa are? Bhayatajita. Bhayatajita mean is struck by fear. This is very important. What kind of human beings are them? Struck by fear. Because of that nature, they go to many a refuge. They go to the mountains and forest, to parks and trees and shrines. For what? Asking some support, asking protection, blessing. This is the reason to have religions in this world. Buddha explained, this is why we have religions in the world. Now you have a question mark in front of you. The teachings of the Buddha is a religion or not? According to this stanza, directly, you, there is no doubt to say the teachings, the, the Buddha's teachings we not supposed to ask, we not supposed to consider as a religion, because this is the nature of religion. What is the nature? Human beings who are living with fear, who are living with fear, because of that they are few, uh, fear, they go to many refuge, likewise mountains, forest, parks and trees and shrines. They go to refuge. Why? They are full of fear. They don't have any other solution for their matters. So they go to refuge for this. In Anguttara Nikaya Thikanipata Balavagga, the Buddha said, Balato Bayang Upajati no Panditato. Fear is arising because of ignorance. Fear, who has fear? Fear has with the foolish one. Undeveloped mind, who has undeveloped mind? They have fear. Now you can see the connection. 
who are ignorance who are foolish they have fear they have fear where are the what is the reasons to arise fear ignorance what kind of ignorance is that who don't know the reality now simply you can understand years ago in this world when lightning people thought it is a, it is happening because of gods divine beings when they have fight as a result of that fight we can see that lightning thunder also we thought it is a creation of deities or gods but later scientists were able to recognize the reason cause for lightning and thunder then who was able to get that information for them then they they, they realize okay lightning the reason for lightning is this such as such as such a cause are the behind thing of all these activities with the help of that scientists approvals scientists researchers we were able to see the cause of thundering and lightning thunder and lightning so we don't have any fear of that i mean fear means we don't have any doubts we now recognize that dear friends still we have fear we we don't know what is death what is birth scientifically you have some kind of explanation about birth and death but that is not the reality therefore we have fear of our death and also we have a uh, death of our life because we don't are we are not touching the reality what is life means what is the life that's why we have lot of fear with us so we ready to go to refuge for many things we go to refuge for many things as you know today in these days some important thing is happening particularly some countries like in uh, south asian countries they believe super power strongly they believe deities they think they they is are protecting themselves they think they is are the guardians for human beings they thoughts in this manner so morning to evening they did so many rituals for happiness of that deities and later and performing all these rituals they were wishing to get protection from them what happened to them at the end they were not able to get any protection particularly in this covid situation first people who left from us deities gods all the gods had been left from us no one is protecting us anymore otherwise deities and gods who are protecting this world was able to protect us from this covid but not it's not happening therefore friends this is the situation this is the behind reason for our religious activities this is the reasons to have a religion in this world what is the reason fear what is the reasons to have fear ignorance ignorance or avijja is the main reasons to perform religions and perform rituals in this world now you can see origin of religion where its origin origin it's in their mind why because of their ignorance what is happening because of ignorance because of ignorance they have fear to protect themselves because of their fear they started to perform some rituals and religious activities this is not my idea or my thought this is the explanation coming from the buddha they go to many refuges those who have been struck by fear 
they go to the mountains forest parks and trees and shrines for what to perform some rituals to get blessings or get protection in second instance or next instance they said netam ko saranam kemang netam saranam uttamang netam saranam agam sabb dukkha pamuchati but no one of these is a secure refuge none is the refuge supreme not by relying on such a refuge can one be freed from all suffering how many time you worship to these items these things likewise in mention mountain forest trees parks and shrines per day you don't have any secure refuge there any secure refuge there none is the refuge supreme none is the none is the refuge supreme not by relying on such a refuge can one be freed from all suffering also to be happy to establish your happiness yourself you should eliminate your suffering you can't eliminate your sufferings with living with defilements so to end suffering to finish suffering you should eliminate your defilements where the defilements are defilements are in your mind what is the cause to have defilements cause to have defilements is fear doubt why we have fear and doubt because of our ignorance now you can see the connection if you want to establish your happiness if you want to get rid of your suffering end your suffering so you have to treat for your ignorance going into all these places what kind of places are there pabbatani it means mountains vanani forest arama rukka chaityani arama means temples or religious places and shrines is there any chance to get rid of your ignorance no just performing rituals no Rit- performing rituals there is no any chance to get rid of your suffering your unhappiness you can't establish your happiness without taking out your ignorance so what is the purpose of buddha's teachings this is the way of life we are working to get rid of our ignorance not just perform rituals performing ritual is not something belongs to buddhist practice but you know culturally traditionally we have some kind of rituals but mainly we should focus to get rid of our ignorance not to perform rituals not to perform ritual this is very important teachings if you can recognize realize these two stins are you can realize why the buddha came to this world and what is the difference with the teachings of the buddha and other religious teachings and also you can you can get a solution to understand the buddhism is the buddha's teaching is a religion or it is way of life you can recognize it and what is the difference with the religions and the buddha's teaching you can see through this stanza now you can see they go to many refuge people go to worship to different places likewise mountains forest parks and trees and shrines for what ask him protection ask him protection 
they go to worship all these places for what for their protection and to get their blessings but the buddha is buddha saying in here but none of these is a secure refuge none of these is a secure refuge none is the refuge supreme not the relying on such a refuge can one be freed from all suffering you can perform all these rituals but there is no way to get rid of your suffering just perform in that rituals yes you may have some kind of benefits there but that benefits not helping us to get rid of our suffering we have benefits with suffering that is not the goal for buddhist life as buddhist follow what we are trying we are trying to gain wisdom why we want to gain wisdom to to treat our ignorance to eliminate our ignorance so now you can see all the religion except buddhist the teachings of the buddha based on this developing faith going refuge to all these uh, items they are trying to get protection from super power unseen power but buddhist the buddha said no you can't get supports anything from that you should work to gain your wisdom only the wisdom is the one and only weapon that you can use to destroy your ignorance panya yudena jithancharakke panya yudena sharp your weapon of wisdom for what to get rid of your ignorance why we want to get rid of ignorance that is the cause for all suffering that that is the cause to stay in this birth and death circle sansara ignorance is the main reason in dependent origination as pers- in persist step you can see avijja paccha sankhara ignorance is the cause to have sankhara accumulation when you accumulate things sankhara paccha vijnana then you ready to create consciousness then you ready to create mentality and materiality nama roopa when you have mentality and materiality that that is the cause to have five bases and five five faculties then there is the opportunity to how to create your desire with the help of desire now you are going into sansara birth and death circle it's happening this is the uni- this is universal truth this is not truth just only for the buddhist so therefore friends now you can see what are the responsibilities for us as a buddhist follower why would the born to this world to teach this as you know when buddha born in india in that day in those days there were 61 religions buddha categorized all these religions into two what are those attakilamatan yoga uh, sorry uh, sashvatavada and uchchedavada sashvatavada and uchchedavada eternal world and this is the only life this is the sashvata and uchchedavada some group of religions believe eternal life group of religious said this is one and only life after this death there is no more life this is the sashvata and uchchedavada all these 61 religions 
categorized into these two groups by the Buddha. Then Buddha did not want to introduce another religion. Buddha did not want to introduce another religion. Then what the Buddha introduced, the Buddha introduced way of life. For what? To gain wisdom. Why? To eliminate your ignorance. Why? Ignorance is the cause for this sansaric suffering. No one wanted to be suffer in this world. Everyone willing to be happy. Then where is your happiness? Your happiness you can gain and establish through your wisdom. Through your wisdom. Therefore, none of these is a secure refuge. None is the refuge supreme. Not by relying on such a refuge can one be free from all suffering. So our practice, our way of life based on to gain wisdom through our practice. This is the, the, this is the main uh, lifestyle, main workload, main uh, things that we should do as a Buddhist follower. Therefore, friends, our duty, our responsibility is to gain wisdom. To gain wisdom just worshipping of these things is not the way. No one can gain wisdom just performing those rituals, worshipping and uh, 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 just doing chanting. No one can gain that wisdom. Just think about yourself. Already you have some kind of uh, wisdom with you. You can recognize good and bad. That Thoughts you can share with others, but can you transfer your wisdom to others? No. The Buddha was not able to transfer his wisdom with his son Rahula. Buddha was not able to share his wisdom with his father Suddhodana. Buddha was not able to share his wisdom with his stepmother Prajapati. They were practicing their self, was able to gain their wisdom to liberate from this sansar. Therefore, duties and responsibilities with us. Just performing rituals, there is no way to gain wisdom. So, our duty, our responsibility to open our mind, sharp our mind, to sharp our uh, wisdom. To sharp our wisdom, definitely we need to develop our concentration. Without developing concentration, don't think about wisdom. Wisdom and uh, concentration, these two things gain together. There is no concentration without wisdom, no wisdom without concentration. Nati janang apanyas panya nati ajayatu. So, concentration is very important, which we call samadhi. And with the help of samadhi concentration, yes, we can gain wisdom panya. So, our practice is based on to gain concentration and wisdom. So we practice meditation, we practice generosity, we observe precepts for what? To gain concentration and wisdom. This is the main activities for us as Buddhist followers. Therefore, performing rituals, you can be satisfied, but there is no way to gain wisdom. But 
you can be happy performing that uh, all rituals that rituals are not helping us to gain wisdom or concentration now you can understand the difference with buddha's teachings and the religious life it's two different things therefore whatever the religions you belong it does not matter you can apply this method of the buddha to gain your wisdom gain your wisdom that is your responsibility as human beings uh, we are the only living beings who can gain wisdom none of other beings are not able to gain wisdom none of other beings so being born human beings in this world in this very life why we want to waste our time without gaining our wisdom there is no doubt no debate let us apply this method to gain concentration and wisdom but it's completely depending on our experience our knowledge if you don't have enough capacity to think understand this methods then there is no way to gain wisdom no way to gain concentration therefore friends we should open our mind to see things we should uh, develop our practice to have a concentrated mind i think that would be enough for today having this uh, knowledge and understanding the teachings of the buddha let us work for our own liberation thank you very much for your participation let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their sansaric suffering having that aspiration make share merits with departed ones saying sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid-19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and methods may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time I attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much thank you bhakti thank you